was in a bit of a quandary today. I didn't really know what to do because it's so dark here. The rain's tor torrential and it's really dark. And I've got all the lights on. I've got a, a daylight lamp on shining over here. And I, I don't know. I'm going to go with it and see what happens. Um, but it's very quiet in blog world. My stats are bearing that out. And I just think people are taking time out for Christmas. And that's fair enough. But I still want to keep going. Um, even if I only get half my normal uh, lookers, visitors, whatever, because I know some of you are loyal and you come here all the time, so I don't want to let you down. So anyway, what am I going to show you today? Well, remember this that I put together after I bought my London cloth and I showed you, I made you that video the other day. It's not quite finished, but I didn't know what to do with it. It's not for my white cloth I'm making at the moment. It was just something I felt a real urge to make because I had this new cloth and this new vintage cloth. So I put it together and I've been stitching on it. I've been showing you on my blog. Um, there's not a lot different since you last saw it apart from I've put web stitches up here and a bit of buttonhole lace along here. But then I was sewing it last night and I kind of had a bit of a, oh yeah, I know what I can do with it. And there's two people who I need to buy something for, kind of family people, um, and I haven't got a clue what to buy them. You know when you just say, oh, what am I going to buy? I don't know what to buy. She doesn't need that. She doesn't need that. And I can't tell you who they are. It's after Christmas because I think one of them comes on here occasionally. So I thought, oh, I know. I'll turn it into a tiny bed cushion, bedroom cushion for such a body. So I made all these last night, these little puffs and things, to go along the edge when it's put together. So there's just some plain white ones. I'm going to have that way with the pleated side showing. And then I made some with lace um, that should, if they're interspersed with the white ones, they should stand out quite nicely so they're going to go along the edge. So then I thought the other person who I need to buy something for and who I haven't got a clue what to buy for I'm going to make her a cushion as well. So I've cut a bit of muslin here and I just thought I'd do the process on video of putting it together because people seem to like that, okay. So this person is very special to me. So I've been looking for special stuff to put on this and I've got a feeling that I haven't got enough out really. So I've got this big tray cloth. You can see this is a bit damaged, it's vintage. I bought this, I think I bought it off the internet, I'm not sure. So I'll just press this because I think I'm going to be having some of this in here because it's such a beautiful pattern. Okay, so I'll just press that bit and I've got a feeling I might like to have that like that, you know, like with the point. So that can't go down first. So what am I going to put down first? I think I'll put some of this across here and that's going to give me a base for that pointed thing. So this is vintage trim, so if I just cut that off there, I haven't got a lot of this left now and this kind of stuff, once you've used it you can't get any more, um, so that's the first bit down there and then I'll see if I can work it so that this pointed thing, so I'm still going to need something here so I might look for something in my box that's quite plain. I've got all my boxes behind me. So I'll just have a quick look with something quite plain to go on there. Just as a background really for that. Um, so this stuff that I bought last week in John Lewis, I could put a bit of that on there. So I'll just cut a little bit of this off to go along there. Let me see. So if I cut it, let's see, because I'm going to have to turn it under, I don't want to lose this lovely ruffle, so it is, maybe I could have it going that way, that would make a bit of a change, have the ruffle vertically as opposed to horizontally, so if I cut that along there, possibly there, then I can turn it under to create a neat hem. Okay, fold this up and put it back. I should. I wish I'd got more of that. I bought half a metre, it was quite expensive. I wish, beginning to wish I'd bought a full metre. Because I can see I'm going to be using it a lot. 
We'll just press that. Put it on there and turn that under. Now it's not exactly to the edge here, but that doesn't matter because this is going to be squared off anyway. So I'll just press that so I've got a seam there. And then I can get this. But then you know that's going to mean that that's hidden. So now I've changed my mind again. I don't want that on there. I've got this lace here that's quite difficult to stitch through by hand. So I'm thinking perhaps if I put that. Hmm. Perhaps if I put that there. Going under there. Okay. Don't want to waste it. So pull it across. And it won't be necessarily embellished by hand this lace but it's a base for that pointed section that I'd like to use it might provide a lovely backdrop it's looking good already so then if this goes say that goes on there oh, I think that would be nice but then I'm not convinced I want the point to be in the middle I'm not a fan of predictable so by the time I've edged this, um, let me get something. I haven't got anything to hand, I'm so bad at being organised. Right, by the time I've edged this, it's going to be there, say. And then the top edge will be here, so it's still too centred for my liking. So I'm going to move it over a little bit more like that. I don't want it off centre, I've got a thing about having stuff off centre and that, well that's going to be better isn't it with that lace peeping out from under there, I think that's actually going to work really well although I'm not sure that I should put something else under there because it's a bit flimsy with the muslin and the lace um, I don't know, I'll have a think about that for, for the moment I'll cut that to size and then I can put that away before I start rooting about in boxes with something else to go under that lace so I'll just cut this up there out of camera probably, no it's not, it's there you can see and cut along there there so I'll fold that up and put away now, I want something else under that lace I think just to give it a bit of strength a bit of body at the reverse I do have some more muslin here but it's a thicker muslin it's off a baby wipe so perhaps if I iron this and put this under there that will solve that problem so I'll just take these off Um, right, trim that to there. This is a muslin baby wipe that I bought from the supermarket. They're really come in handy, but I suppose if you work it out per meter, they are quite expensive. We're on eight minutes, I'm conscious of the time. I don't want to bore you rigid. Right, so I'll put that back on there. Bring that over. Oh, that needs to go down a bit more. Bring that over there. And then... Which way was that? And then, see I'm putting that on there because I think now, looking at it, that's the right side. So the point's down here as opposed to up there, but that doesn't matter because it's still off centre. So there you are. So I just need to pin that together now, mark out my edges and set to work with embroidering it. So I hope you enjoyed that. I mean, I don't know, some people do, some people don't. And I don't think, don't, please don't imagine that I stand here thinking, oh, everybody loves watching this. They think it's amazing because I don't think that. I just know that some people enjoy it. So because it's so dark today, I was going to struggle with good pictures. I just thought a video might be better and I'm really hoping that the video isn't as dark as the 
this room actually appears to me when I'm studying it. So I'll pin this together. I'll try and get a couple of pictures. Um, and I am going to be here till probably... I think Saturday might be my last day. Um, have Sunday, Monday off. I don't know. Not because I want it off, but because I think I should be doing stuff. It's Christmas. There must be stuff I need to do. So if you can think of things I need to do, apart from sewing and messing with cloth, then let me know. Because I know, I'm sure, everybody else is really busy and hectic and running around like headless chicken doing all this Christmas stuff. And I'm thinking, what should I be doing? I don't feel like I need to be doing anything. So, But there must be something. So let me know. Um, and I'll keep you up to date with how this progresses because this has to be finished for Christmas anyway.